Howdy y'all, so I just made a video uh, a little bit ago about how Donald Trump would basically eat Joe Biden alive when it comes to the uh, subject of Social Security, and this is going to be more of that. I just saw this Twitter thread that Bernie Sanders, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, made a fucking Twitter thread basically demolishing Joe Biden, and... This is some like oh, I wish Bernie was doing this the whole time, honestly. But this isn't like he needs to go. This is crunch time. I've said this before, but now it's crunch time. Part fucking seventy six. Like Joe Biden is not your guy. So I'm just gonna read this verbatim. Joe Biden claims in a new ad that he has always protected Social Security. Go watch my previous video on the subject if you want to see the advertisement. I played it on there. That's patently false. He can't hide 40 years of working with Republicans to cut Social Security. Here are the facts. And then we have an Intercept article. Fact check. Joe Biden has advocated cutting Social Security for 40 years. In 1983, Joe Biden... I can't read. I'm sorry. Push to raise the Social Security retirement age. And as you can see here, Biden also suggested that a gradual increase in the retirement age would help to improve Social Security system, while at the same time help to offset the predicted labor shortage 20 years from now. Hmm, I wonder how that's going. In 1984, Joe Biden first pushed to freeze funding for Social Security, which would end up in cutting Social Security benefits. This link did not embed, but I'm just going to go past this. I'm just going to retweet all of this, honestly. Um, in 1995, I was on the House floor fighting the GOP's effort to cut Social Security. Five days later, Joe Biden gave a speech in the Senate bragging about his work with the GOP to try and freeze funding for Social Security. Let's play for this. For working people, for elderly people, for low-income people. It will mean, in my view, the destruction of the Social Security system as we know it. It will mean savage cuts in Medicare, in Medicaid in the opportunity of young people to get grants and loans to go to college. I'm going to go on record. I'm up for re-election this year, and I'm going to remind everybody what I did at home, which is going to cost me politically. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. The balance, but just incredible, incredible, incredible. Look at the dates. Incredible. Seriously. This is a no fucking brainer. Seriously. In the mid 1990s, Joe Biden was criticized by seniors groups for supporting balanced budget amendments that would cut Social Security. So you can see we have an article here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can do so on your own time. Th this is, again, this is coming from Bernie Sanders' official Twitter account. This is incredible. Like, he, like, this is like, oh my god. I, I'm loving this. Bernie going on full fucking attack mode. The next debate's going to be amazing. In 1996, Joe Biden floated the idea of reducing Social Security benefits through an early version of chained CPI, 6 out of 8. Biden offered several possibilities, including dropping one percentage point of... The, God, this re resolution is making my eyeballs hurt. <laughs> one percentage point of the inflation rate used to calculate Social Security retirement increases. I feel like I've got like my glasses off or something. This is actually easier to read with my glasses off. That would make the system solvent for 75 years, he said, just increasing the retirement age from 67 to 68 later in the next century would save billions, Biden added. Still, like, as, as bad of a fucking image that is. Incredible. In 2007, NBC reported that as president, Joe Biden's Social Security plans would include discussing options such as upping the retirement age. Unbelievable. In 2007, Joe Biden appeared on Meet the Press to say Social Security and Medicare cuts should be on the table. Hard one to solve. God damn it. Fuck Twitter clips, honestly. We have Social Security and Medicare looming. Would you consider looking at those programs? Age of eligibility, absolutely. cost of living, put it all on the table? The answer is absolutely, you have to. You have you know, to. It's the, one of the things that my, you know, the, the political advisors say to me is, whoa, don't touch that third. Look, the American people aren't stupid. It's a real simple proposition. Social Security is not the hard one to solve. Medicare, that is the gorilla in the room. And you've got to put all of it on the table. Everything. Everything. You've got to. People all over this country say that is nuts. That's nuts. Anybody in the Congress 
who believes in cutting these life important benefits. We're going to give them a political choice they can't refuse. This is such a good ad, dude. And that is, if they vote to cut Social Security, wow. they may well not be returning to Washington. Thank you all very much. That was in 2013. This was in 2013 when Obama and Biden wanted to cut Social Security with uh, the Republicans. Like, Man, this is some good shit right here. This is some good fucking shit. I'm going to just scan the reply to see if there's anything cringy. Jesus. Keep quiet, Marxist. I like Can you fucking imagine? Like like can you fucking imagine? Like imagine saying this. Like Jesus. I fucking hate neoliberals, dude. I really do. But, like, Bernie's going on full offense, and I absolutely love to see it. Again, the next debate is going to be fucking juicy, yo. It's going to be fucking juicy. It's going to be like, yo, oh my god, seriously, this next debate's going to be amazing. I just, like, oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. I can't wait. If Joe, like, oh, imagine, like, two hours. Two hours of Bernie... And Joe Biden standing next to each other. Oh! I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, God. Bernie, continue doing what you're doing. 